More and more Australians are turning to alternative medicines and, st and therapies to try to stay healthy. As a result, private health funds now offer cover for such services as homeopathy, reflexology and yoga, partly subsidised by the government. But now a draft review of complementary medicine has found no conclusive proof that any of them actually work, leading to calls for the rebate to be cut. Tracy Bowden reports. And starting to take some nice deep breaths into your belly. So allowing your breath to guide you into your body. Exhale, letting it go. Instructor Sarah Jane Perman has been a devotee of yoga for 15 years. She's convinced of its benefits and says her students feel the same way. Oh, yoga is so beneficial, like not only for your body, and that's kind of a One given. Inhale. Exhale. It's an incredible healing practice. Inhale, raising your hip. In my own yoga journey and as a teacher, it really, it, it gives you the tools to heal yourself. Inhale. Lindley Jordan is equally enthusiastic about homeopathy. In our clinic, we've been working here for 25 years and people keep coming back because they see it work. To me, that's the most important part of the whole issue is what do the people think? They're voting with their feet, they want to use it. How does it work? I think the truth is nobody knows how it works, but we try to simplify it by saying it's working on your immune system, it's working on your energy system, it's something like giving a, a trigger to your inbuilt system of making yourself well again. Australians have embraced complementary medicine. In the last financial year, private health insurers paid out $164 million in benefits for natural therapies. Now a leaked draft of the findings of a review set up by the former Labor government in 2012 has reignited the debate about whether these treatments should be subsidised. The committee looked at 17 different therapies, including reflexology, iridology and herbalism. It found that... There were no health conditions for which there was reliable, high-quality evidence that any of the natural therapies considered were clinically effective. But it added that... The absence of evidence does not mean that the therapies evaluated do or do not work. Our precious health dollars should not be spent on those modalities, on supporting them, until such time, if ever, that scientific evidence is available that does confirm that they're effective. No Professor John Dwyer is co-founder of the Friends of Science in Medicine organisation. He says the review confirms what he's been arguing for years. None of these modalities offer any chance of addressing underlying pathological disease processes. That's the that's the major point. They might make you feel better for a little bit. But they're used for treating things, for serious things like everything from autism to asthma to cancer. And um, uh, you, you know, we have numerous examples of people dying prematurely and unnecessarily because they put their faith in the fraudulent claims made by people offering these modalities. It's particularly concerning to us, I think, the government subsidy component of this. We're talking about $32 million a year as conservative estimates. But supporters of complementary medicine say that scientific evidence isn't the only way to prove that therapies work. There's lots of evidence out there if they would look at observational studies and take them into account and I don't believe that's asking too much. But I feel that we should all have options when it comes to helping our health and maybe we shouldn't be just restricted to conventional medicine. How has your skin been anyway, Ros? Oh, it's improved a lot, thank you. Patient Ros right. Henley says what matters for her yeah, is that homeopathy yeah, works. It actually went away after the treatment. I had 10 years of chronic here. infections yes, that um, slowly got worse with conventional medicine, so I decided to try homeopathy. And now, 10 years on, I'm completely cured of all my conditions and feeling much better. The pendulum has swung to now a right wing kind of jackbooted everyone must uh, practice only to, with the evidence without any recognition that there's a whole way of healthcare, our diet, our lifestyle, the things that we do, our relationships, 
yoga, um, stretching, these are all important, we all understand it, but how do you design a study? How do you do a placebo for yoga? Mark Donoghue can see both sides of this debate. He's a GP who also uses natural therapies. We should not be eradicating you know, modalities or cutting off health funds until we've spent the money and the effort that's required to say, well, what is the true evidence? It's up to the consumer to decide what's best for their health, um, not necessarily for the government to put us into boxes. And uh, natural medicine is a very much a part and a growing part of the overall health system in Australia. The final report on the Natural Therapies Review is now being considered. A decision is then likely to be made on which therapies should continue to receive the government rebate. I think the government needs to, as soon as possible, release the report so that we know exactly what we're talking about. And then we need a good public debate on exactly what it is as covered by private health insurance. This report is important because it sends a signal to Australians that uh, you stop and pause and think before you uh, allow yourself to be hoodwinked into using these things, they don't work. Look, I will stand here and say I'm no scientist in any shape or form. I'm a yoga teacher. I see people transform their lives with this practice. Yoga is magic, it really is. Tracy Bowden reporting. That's the program for tonight. We'll be back at the same time tomorrow, but for now, good night.